Ironside vs. Warface. Two of the best FPS games available for free, other than Battle Royale games. So if you are looking for some classic Call of Duty feeling, these are the only free games that has a most of the game modes that Call of Duty had. Let's see which one is suited for you. I have been playing Warface since 2016, and I shifted to Ironsight very recently. So, I have only played Ironsight for 5 months. Anyway, I have a good understanding on both games. Let's start with brief introduction to both games. Warface is a free-to-play online first-person shooter game, developed by Crytek and published by My.com. The game was developed with Crytek's in-house CryEngine 3. Warface centers around online firefights in PvP and PvE matches with microtransactions, allowing players to purchase weapons, equipment, and cosmetic gear. Ironsight is a free-to-play futuristic military first-person shooter game, developed by Weeple Games and published by Area Games for North America and Europe. Asian version is published by Weeple Games itself. Ironsight also has both PvP and PvE matches, but PvE is just there for practice purpose. Similar to Warface, Ironsight also has microtransactions, but you can only buy skins. Let's talk about the gameplay. Simply, Warface is a slow version of Call of Duty. You walk and run really slow, and because of that, it's really easy to get kills and be killed. Headshots are really important in Warface because you can kill anyone from one headshot if they aren't using any armors. There is no kill streaks or any extra perks. Just shoot and kill. Nothing more. Warface does have a class system. Rifleman, Medic, Engineer, Sniper and Sed. Rifleman can use assault rifles and machine guns. They also have ammo pack. If one of the team member is out of ammo, Rifleman can refill his ammo. Medics can use shotguns. They can also heal and revive players. Engineer use SMGs. They can repair armors of players. Sniper use snipers. And Sed can use heavy machine guns. Yes, Warface has a playable robot. Both Sniper and Sed doesn't have any special abilities. When it comes to Ironsight, it's a copy of Black Ops 2. The movement and gun play is very similar to that. So, you run faster than Warface. It takes around 2 to 3 bullets to the head to kill a player. So, headshots doesn't really matters. You can kill from around 4 shots to the chest. There aren't any armors in the game or any class system. Anyone can use any weapon. There are some unique weapons in Ironsight that Warface doesn't have. You have shields, crossbow, missile launchers, sticky grenades and etc. You can also use drones in Ironsight. So there are surveillance drones and attacking drones. Unlike Call of Duty, you don't need kill streaks to activate these drones. For every kill you get, and objectives you do, will give you points. When you gain a certain amount of points, you can use these drones. You can be really tactical in Ironsight if you use those drones intelligently. So, what game is best? Well I can answer that question by saying why I switched from Warface to Ironsight. Warface has become an extremely pay-to-win game. You can buy premium weapons for around $20. Those guns are way better than free guns. You can buy zero recoil rifles and SMGs that can kill anyone from one headshot from any distance. There are paid armors that are so overpowered. There is no way, literally, no way to get those premium weapons and armors without spending real money. Just imagine spending $20 for a one gun in a free game. You can just buy a AAA game for that price. So, the next big question. Is Ironsight pay to win? No. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Why? Because you can only buy skins. All the weapons are available to buy from in-game money. Like I said earlier, I have played for 5 months. Now I have more than 20 guns. And, I have enough in-game money to buy all the weapons in the game. Literally all the weapons. So does that makes Ironsight better than Warface? Well yes, and no. I will explain why. Even though Warface is pay to win game, it has way more content than Ironsight. Warface has not only PvP matches, but also PvE missions. These missions are really cool and challenging. You can team up with 5 players and play those missions. So if you don't like competitiveness of PvP, you can still enjoy PvE missions. Warface also have a much bigger player base. That is because Warface is available in all the platforms. PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. 
so Warface clearly has a future and not going to shut down anytime soon. Still there are few more issues with Warface. Warface only has two main servers. One is Europe's server and other one is North America server. There isn't any server for Asia. There are regional servers for Asia. But due to lack of Asian players, you will have to play on Europe's server with a 100 plus ping. And even though Warface has more players than Ironsight, very few actually play PvE missions. So, if you don't have 5 friends to play missions, you will most probably not play them at all. Because, you will have to wait hours to find a match to play the mission you desired. Now let's talk about Ironsight. Like I explained earlier, Ironsight doesn't have any pay-to-win item. You can only buy skins for money. Since there isn't any pay-to-win items, guns are well balanced. There isn't a gun called best weapon. In Warface there are set of paid weapons that are considered as the best weapons of the game. But in Ironsight every player use a different gun according to their playstyle. Ironsight has servers for Europe, North America, South America, Russia, and Asia. So you can play with a really good ping from anywhere in the world. I'm playing an Asian server and my ping is around 50 milliseconds. Even though the player base is less than Warface, you can find matches much quicker. But if you just want to play Search and Destroy, you will have to wait a bit longer. I myself play all the modes. So, for me I can find a room within an 1 minute in Asian version. Still, there are some bad thing in Ironside also. One of the major issue is the team balancing. It has literally the worst team balance of any game I have ever played. Ironside has a party option. You can party with maximum of 3 players and play the game. So, you will put into the same team of the match. Because of that, whenever there is a good party in one side, team balance just doesn't work. Many players abuse this system and farm wins. Another issue of Ironside is that you will be matched against pro players from the beginning. In Warface when you create a new account, you are only allowed to play against players below level 20. So, new players enjoy the game because they don't get destroyed in the start. But in Ironsight, there is no system like that. From the first day, you will be matched again level 100 players. It's a nightmare for new players. Biggest problem that Ironsight has is the future of the game. It has been open beta since 2018 and still, we haven't got a full release. And to make things even worse, there are some internal issue with Weeple Game and Area Games. Weeple Games has publicly stated that Area haven't paid the licensing fees from nearly a year. So, people are saying that the Area version will shut down and players will have to migrate to Asian version. It's just a speculation, we don't know anything for sure. So, both games have pros and cons. It's up to you to decide which one is best suited for you. For me, Ironside is way better than pay to win Warface. Anyway, tell me about your ideas in the comments. Let's discuss about both games. That's it for this video. See ya.